Claymore Zcash AMD GPU Miner version 1.1 for Linux. So before we get started on the regular, this is released, this is where you can get it, let's download it, install it, try it out. We're going to take a quick little look at the files from Claymore's Linux Miner, specifically the ZEC Miner 64 file. So I'm going to open a terminal here and I'm going to type in strings ZEC Miner 64 and hit enter. Now I'm going to scroll up. I keep scrolling up. Until I find this. Zcash Blake 2B. Zcash Blake 2B. What's that? Where is that from? I'm going to copy one of these lines here. And paste it into a search engine. Hit go. Funny, this first thing that pops up is Silent Army, Blake.h. So if we take a look at this, we can see those three lines are right here and they're directly copied from the Silent Army Miner from Mark's work. So since these have been copied, you would have to wonder what else has been copied in the miner. Version 1 of Claymore's miner gave practically the exact same speeds as the Silent Army miner. So if they're giving the exact same speeds, you'd really have to wonder. So Mark went on to say that he downloaded Claymore's Linux version. And he can confirm with 100% confidence the Claymore reuse code from Silent Army's Blake.c file. This puts him in violation of the MIT license because although the license allows him to take and redistribute my code, the license also mandates that he includes the copyright notice. Copyright Mark Bavand, along with his software, but Claymore failed to include this copyright notice. So he can't tell us what else has been used, obviously, because we can't see it, and he's not sure how to deal with it. But he will deal with it somehow, and I'm sure that Claymore will fix this up and do right where he did wrong. But you would have to ask the question, how much of Claymore's miner is actually Claymore's miner? Is it really Mark's miner? The hash rates are so identical, and we can see some of the code here that has been implemented, and you can't really say stolen, but used in Claymore's miner. So I'm just curious what you think. Do you think that he should be giving Mark credit. Do you think he should be using this and charging a 2.5% mining fee? Is that fair for all of us? Because we're the ones paying him for it, and it may not really all be his work. Would you like to see what Claymore's miner actually is? Do you think he should release his miner so that people can actually see how much of the Silent Army code is actually in Claymore's miner? So comment below. Please let me know what you think, and now we'll get on with the show. If we go to the bitcointalk.org forums, we can see that Claymore has released version 1.1 of his miner, which includes a Linux version. So we can click on the Google or Mega link to download it. I've already clicked on the Google link. Here's the Linux miner. I'll click on that and then click download. I'll save the file. OK. When it completes, I'll open the containing folder. Extract the archive. Go into the folder. I'm going to create a document. I'll call it Start Claymore. I'm going to open that document. And then I'm going to open his README text. I'm going to copy the environmental variables and then paste it into my Start Claymore text. I'll go back to his README and scroll down to the pool information. I'm going to be using Flypool. You can use any of the pools on his list. I'm going to copy the command to start the miner for Flypool and paste it into my start Claymore text. I have to edit it. I'm going to take out the .exe. I'm going to take out the capitals, capital M, small m, capital Z, small z. Then at the beginning, I'm going to add a .backslash. You can change your server from EU to CN to US. I'll use US. Then you want to change your address in the file. So I'm going to open a file with my address here and copy my address out of it. I'm 
I'll paste my T address into the command to start the miner. And I'm going to enter in a work name here. I'll use 7. So that's all done. I can save the file, close the file. Now I need to make it executable. So I'm going to right click on the file, go to properties, permissions, and click allow executing file as program. I'll close that and then I'll open a terminal from the folder. I'll type in dot backslash start claymore and hit enter. This will start the miner. Seize all seven of my GPUs and it's hashing away at them. Three, two, one, one, two, three. So Claymore did say that there were bug fixes included in this 1.1 release, but I still had my miner crash. It took out one of the GPUs, tried to restart and wouldn't restart. I ran it again after that. It again crashed one of the GPUs, froze up my computer, I had to restart the computer. When I restarted, it wouldn't find all seven GPUs with this miner. It would only find six. I had to leave my computer off for a while, boot it back in. Finally, at least Silent Army picked up all seven GPUs. So if you want to leave this on for a long time, overnight or something like that, you might want to use the Silent Army Miner. If the Silent Army Miner drops any GPUs, the rest of the GPUs keep mining. It doesn't throw off the whole mining program, okay? So keep that in mind if you're going to leave it on. I've heard people were waking up this morning and their miners froze last night, their miners crashed last night, they woke up, nothing was mining all night. So that's very upsetting if you have that happen. So if you can, you should probably use the Silent Army Miner. The other thing is, is that the Silent Army Miner has a new modification to it, which I'm going to be posting a video about right after this video. And it's even faster. It's faster than Claymore. It's faster than the previous release of Silent Army that I did a video of a couple days ago. I saw Claymores get up to around 310, maybe 314. Uh, when I was using the Linux version just now, my 7 GPUs, I've seen the Silent Army go past 220 on the same GPU. So it's faster. Not only is it faster, there's no development fee. You have to pay Claymore 2.5%, which in my case on 300 ends up being something like 7.75, almost 8 hashes. So if I'm paying him 8 hashes and getting 310 with him, 310 with his, then I get maybe 302, maybe I get 300 to 305 in general, where I can get 320 with the new silent armor so with if where I can get 320 with the new silent army miner so I'm gonna take the extra 15 hashes I'm not gonna pay someone for something that doesn't work as good as the silent army miner and there has been some speculation also that Claymore is using the silent army miner in his miner so keep that in mind the better idea might just be go straight to the source and use the silent army otherwise if you want to this is available for Linux and you can use it if you like the other tools, uh, the many variables that you can adjust into your command. You can use this miner. It does work, but it's crashy and probably still has some bugs. I'm sure the same is true with the new 1.1 Windows release. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped and thanks for watching.